and welcome to Grace and Light channel. Elizabeth here going to be jumping in to some budget colored pencils today wanting to do a nice little comparison between four of the larger brands that I know of. I would love to know of other brands you would like down in the comments. So please go ahead, share those. There's one you really would like to see or what's one's your favorite. But anyway, we're going to be looking at Crayola, Crazy Art, Prang, and Mondo Llama today. So um, I'm looking forward to jumping in with these four. Crayola, you know, Crayola's gonna be like our standard for this comparison. I figure they're gonna be like our middle of the road. So I'm pretty much gonna rank them a three. You're gonna see we're gonna have a star system. I am gonna be comparing these based on budget pencils. So I'm not gonna be creating a star system to say like, these are them compared to all color pencils because I don't feel like that's really fair. These are budget pencils. So we're gonna be comparing budget pencils to budget pencils, not to Holbein pencils or Candash or Rizma colors. So we're gonna be comparing what I consider apples to apples on this with making them all within the same little world of budget pencils. So we're gonna start with the Crayola right here. So let's jump in. Okay, let's look first at everybody's favorite Crayola color pencils. These are the ones that you think about when you think about budget pencils. They're the first one. They're like, ooh, the standard. So for this, the sake of all of this, I made them like all threes, basically, because this is what I was gonna compare everything about. To kind of show you, I did some erasability, I did some blending tests. This is with Gamsol, this is white blending. That's two color blending. We can look at the um, color swatch sheets here too. Now, I am comparing one of the sets that you can get. This is, was, I got mine set in 2021. That's why it says 2021 right here. You can also, by the way, get these swatch sheets over on my Etsy store. So you can go check that out when this video is over. If there's any of these pencil sets that you've got or want to get, uh, you can go check them out over there and uh, pick up one of the swatch sheets. But anyway, this is the set that I'm comparing because it is the closest to the others. They have since added the Colors of the World set to the Crayola 100 as well, so you can get that set. When you add that in, it really skews the number of colors that you have available because it takes 32 slots in that 100 and makes them the Colors of the World, which that's a lot of space to devote in a 100, especially, I mean, 100 pack, that's a lot. So they take out the neons at that point which is like winter sky, sizzling sunset, they take those out. And um, they cut down the number of grays in here as well as a couple of the reds are taken out just to make space because there's a lot that you have to suddenly get it. You know, you've only got now got, if I'm putting in 36, I've only got 74 slots now for all of these colors. So I have to then be a little bit more strategic in which ones I choose. And there's only eight neons to pull. So that still leaves you with 28 more colors that you've got to cut from the uh, team after that. Um, but because of we're comparing, I'm using this set because it compares the best. Uh, that makes variety on this price point. These are roughly 15 cents a pencil. Uh, that's what I found when I was looking online. We can zoom in right there so you can see it. 15 cents a pencil. Um, average price. You can probably find them cheaper. You can find them for more too. I did find that uh, as well. So let's jump on over next to Crazy Art. Crazy Art. <laughs> the pencil that everybody kind of got a little bummed, like especially the crayons. Like if you got Crazy Art crayons instead of Crayola crayons, you're like, oh man, mom, when you're in school. Will these line up? Will these be as good? Let's see. Um, looking at them, you can kind of see, look, they erased about the same. They blended actually a teeny bit better, surprisingly. Now opacity, you can see Crayola here. This one I like was like going around over and over and over trying to get something. We got nothing for a white opacity here. Hand fatigue was about the same. Uh, color vibrancy, these are a little bit more vibrant. Let's look at the swatch sheet, let's compare. So if I look at red to red, look at that. You can see the difference right there, red to red. This red's a lot more vibrant. You do it with green, you do it with blue. These are all showing up a little bit better. Now, with this one, it does have some neons as well. It only has five instead of eight, but it has a bunch of metallics coming in. 
But even with that, I didn't feel like I was losing a lot in the variety aspect. So for variety, I gave it actually four stars because I felt like the color distribution was a little bit more usable with these. Especially when I started looking in here with these creams, I actually like a choice of two there versus this one doesn't really have a good cream choice. The almond and all of these still have a little bit of color. They're more skin tone uh, with that rather than like a little off white tone. But I just felt like this one had a better color distribution with it. So I said it had a slightly better variety. So I said opacity. Predictability though was down with this one. Um, a lot of these, the barrels weren't matching up. And it was really hard when I got into the package and I looked, trying to figure out which ones were neons. Looking at it was really hard. Not to mention the fact that you see this beautiful swatch sheet. That's how they're packaged. They are packaged in a hot mess uh, of colors. So it's a hard thing to figure out which color is which when you first get this package. I had to work. Uh, with swatching and everything else, you can see I call it the better order. <laughs> this is the box order. Uh, if you do get the color sheets, you get both of them, by the way, um, in the Crazy Art set. But this one made it suddenly so much more usable. I could see it. But because of that, if I'm using these right out of the box, I can't predict what I'm getting looking in the box. It's a mess. It is all over the place. I don't know for sure. So that is why that got that score there. Cost comparison, these are a um, dollar cheaper for the box. So 100 count, you're paying $13.97 instead of $14.97. And you're getting, uh, let's say about 100, so that's $14 each, or $14, 14 cents each. So it's pretty close, I would say, for which one you wanted on these. There are pluses and minuses of, different, of the two different sets. Now at the end, I'll tell you which one I would recommend over these, so you can hold on till then, you'll know which one. Next set we're looking at is Prang. Now Prangs. I looked out and got this set at a discount store at Ollie's for $3.99. <laughs> Normally they're $9.41, so these are the cheapest set at 13 cents a pencil of all of them. You can see the erasability, they didn't erase as well, two stars. They blended fine three stars there. Opacity was a little bit better than the Crazy Art, but not by much, so they got two stars. Hand fatigue, these did make my hands a little bit more tired using them, so two on that one. Color vibrancy, so let's pull out our swatch sheets so we can look at this now. Praying just like Crazy Art, it was a little bit of a mess. It came out this way. I put them into this order, so let's compare. Oh, that's Crazy Art. Let's compare here. I liked that it had, again, some in the cream shades, almost like in more expensive sets where you have an ivory and a cream. I liked that a lot. Um, this one doesn't have neons mixed in, nor it only has, it does have metallics. It only has two though, instead of like a giant set of them. It has a silver and a gold, which is it, understandable. So the vibrancy was also a little bit higher with these, you can see there's a blue, you find kind of a truer red there. It showed up better than the Crayolas. Um, so looking at these, so I gave it a three and a half star for the vibrancy. Now for predictability, because they were a mess in the package, they get a two. They also had several that did not match up. Uh, one called Clover that was just a mess with this. It was, it, it is, yeah, there were several colors in this one. No, Clover was the other one. This one had one where a purple pencil actually has a blue barrel. Um, same with one of the pinks is like, looks like it's really dark and it's not. So that's why I got this. Variety was only two and a half stars. I didn't feel like it had as much variety as the others. Um, a full color spectrum. The greens I felt were a little bit lacking compared to some of the others, um, but they went heavy and on blue. So because of that, I gave it two and a half stars instead of the full three. With that, now the last one we're gonna look at. <laughs> this one is a fun one. We're gonna jump into Mondo Llama now. Mondo Llama, this beautiful package. Packaging. This one wins for packaging. I didn't really do a packaging category. But if we were judging solely on packaging, then Mondo Llama wins because it is so usable. Look at this. 
it's like a packaged at a premium pencil level here, right? I've got these trays, they're easy to use. However, these did not come with numbers or names on them. I had to put those on myself. So like the Prang and, uh, sorry, Prang, Crazy Hair doesn't have numbers, but it has names. Crayola doesn't have numbers, they have names. Um, this had neither, except for what I can guess would be like their alternative to Colors of the World right here, but they're named after like trees and stones. Uh, those are the ones that have names randomly in here. And the metallics don't have names. They just say metallic. So at least I know that that is a metallic pencil, even though they did make the barrel look metallic. But you can see we got this beautiful, bright, vivid set. These are great for kids. I mean, you just see these colors and you're like, ooh, they make my eyes happy. <laughs> Not a lot of pastels for blending in this, so you're not gonna get like a light blue that suddenly makes it beautiful for blending in those. But, erasabilities. This one erased the best out of all of them. So it got four stars, blendability, blended great. I actually had a little bit of white blending where it was able to white blend, so it, it actually scored the highest on that one with three and a half stars. Opacity, comparing it right next to the Crayola, this one actually covered a little bit better. Hand fatigue was average, so I got a three. Color vibrancy, these are so vibrant. They are so bright. Look at that page of happy right there. I mean, it's just like, woo. Um, so vibrancy, four stars. Predictability, the colors do line up with the barrels. They really do, so no surprises there. Because I can't say they're named and they don't look like what they're named because there aren't really names except for the woods, which from what I know, I don't know exactly what ba uh, base wood or basswood looks like, so I'm taking their word for it, or capas. Um, but as far as I know, that's what it looks like, so I'm trusting them on that. Variety, however. Variety only gave 1.5 stars because they are just all bold colors. You don't have any of the betweens. It's just bold with this. So I gave it a 1.5 star there. Uh, price per pencil, this is where they're the expensive ones. Guys, this is $25 on the Target website um, and the Target store. 72 pencils, that is 35 cents a pencil. So, that being said, that's a lot for these pencils. <laughs> you know, considering they don't really behave that differently than the Crayolas. I can't say that they're necessarily worth it to spend that much more. now. Because of the box, I would say I'd enjoy using them more though. So just to let you know that, like their performance will not wow you, but the usability with this nice little box versus having to pull out of the, pa the cardboard package, great. Now, if you've already got another way to package these at home, like you've got a nice little sleeve or whatever, that is great. Use it, you will be happy. So which one is my winner out of all of these? I would say, we'll have to create a drum roll. So the winner, after looking at all of these, has to be the Crazy Arts. Looking at the swatch sheet and going through this and just seeing how bold and vivid the neons are. You get this selection of metallics, the color selection was good, they had good vibrancy. If you're gonna buy one pack, this kinda has it all in one. Maybe I was wrong when I was a kid to not be so excited about crazy art <laughs> and I should have been more excited. Now I would put these in a different package. I did have to put these into a usable order. So take that into account when you get these that they are gonna be in a hot mess of a color order. So be prepared to put a little bit of work in it but then I think afterwards you're gonna like these and you're gonna enjoy getting to use them. Just save a buck. So especially you're, you're using budget pencils. You wanna save some money. You're the frugal crafter. So anyway, that is it for today. Again, if you liked any of these coloring sheets, if you decide to get these crazy arts and try them out, go ahead, go download one of the color, one of the swatch sheets. They're over on the um, Etsy store, as well as I, my Patreon's up, guys. And if you're a Patreon supporter, you get access to all of the swatch charts as I put them out. So um, you'll have access to that. You'll get some stuff in Discord as well as some other fun little perks. So look into that. I'll have links all down in the description below. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.